Namaste. Hi. Many harmful pathogens which make us ill commonly enter our bodies through the nasal cavity and behind the nose they remain there for a while where they build up and accumulate before they could cause harm. And some of these health issues could be serious. And in yoga there are techniques we can do to prevent this from happening. These are preventive ways so we need to practice them consistently and regularly and not just in times of sickness. Yeah. For me there are three most helpful ones. And these are my medicine. They have helped me a lot manage my health and my well-being. I couldn't tell you when was the last time I was sick because I couldn't remember at all. But this one hopefully helps you too. One or two might be for you. Number one is the Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing, with or without retention. Nadi Shodhana means purification of our energetic system. So this powerful way of allowing the breath to irrigate our inner body shall pave way for the cleansing and the purification of our energetic system where we're so filled with energetic stagnation. It's never ending there. Yeah. All the trauma we inflict our bodies knowingly and unknowingly, even the emotional heaviness and the mental heaviness end up clogging our nadi. So by doing nadi shodhana, we continue yeah, cleansing our inner system. It's so good for the heart, it's good for the cardiorespiratory system. It's relaxing for the mind and the nervous system too. Easy to learn as well. Yeah, you don't have to do the kumbhaka yeah, and it's for everyone. There's no contraindication for practicing the Nandi Shodhana. All right. Second, Kapalabhati breath. The breaths of fa, which is good yeah, for stimulating and energizing the nervous system. It's good for building inner core strength. Aside from, obviously, we're cleansing the nostrils of stagnation. So before they accumulate, we flush them out. And the third, the most powerful for me is what we call the Kachari Mudra. Kachari means the force that roams around and Mudra means seal. So by allowing the tongue to fall to enter the box of the nasal cavity, like that, yeah, so we seal the force uh, inside, you know, the life force inside while we do our meditation and cleansing. But Kachari Mudra is more of a spiritual practice and it's not for everyone. But as an energetic and cleansing practice, it's so good at irrigating the deeply hidden parts inside the body. Our tongue has a direct connection to every body parts. Yeah? And by using the tongue to loosen you know, whatever blockages we hold behind the nasal region, yeah, we cleanse the pathway of uh, the breath as well, and then the nasal region, the box of the nasal region, because the tongue will go high then. And use the tongue to loosen, to irrigate the pathways there. And normally after the practice, we rinse our mouth, and the rinsing of our mouth uh, reinforces the cleansing practice. Yes, so one or two of them, yeah, maybe for you. Yeah, although Kachari Mudra definitely is an advanced practice. The Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing, the couple of body breaths, they're accessible, they're easy to learn. And I posted tutorials about them, you may want to take a look at them so you can learn them progressively. But of course, aside from this, we need to manage our whole lifestyle in general. We need to look after our diet, our sleep, our recovery, our restoration, other forms of recreation, sport, physical fitness, consulting your medical practitioner, consulting your spiritual teacher, yeah, creating positive thought waves, yeah, feeling content and happy, you know, what we think, what we feel, meditation is important. So all of this on and off the mat of services will help you manage your physical health, mental clarity, and spiritual well-being. Till the next time. Master.